Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Hey, how's it going in your neck of the woods today? I want to talk a little bit about why life isn't linear. Why success isn't a straight line. Like why does everything just seem to be really crazy and haywire sometimes, okay? And like my mom and dad used to tell me, and they still do, Roxanne, life is a dance. It's a cha-cha. It's like two steps forward, one step back. It's a two-step, you know, you're all over the dance floor, and yet at the end of it, it becomes a thing of beauty, okay? So, when we're thinking about this, and this really come from a conversation earlier in the week, because I had a girl who was kind of really got started within social retail, and she'd been around the block for a while, she'd banged her head on the keyboard, she'd been frustrated, she'd been upset, and she's been kind of really in the background, um, working very quietly, okay? First of all, I wanna make sure that you understand that quiet, quiet, isn't is isn't a bad thing okay retreating is not quitting you know being quiet is sometimes a really good thing because she was doing a whole bunch of back work but the thing was is that her new teammates didn't know that her friends and family didn't know that um you know even some of our leaderships didn't know that so when she just kind of really launched forward again leapt forward all of a sudden, she had new teammates, she had new clients, she had all this new amazing results. She hit new bonuses, she hit new leadership ranks, um, and she's been fairly new within social retail. The thing is, is that sometimes, you know, things like that can make us scratch our head, right? They can make us scratch our heads because um, it's like we're wondering, it's like, why does the universe just seem to be falling into place for this girl? Like, what is going on? It's like, don't look like they've been doing anything at all, and yet they have this stellar month. They just rock it out. And it confuses us, because we, in our thinking, sometimes think they're just being a slacker. They're not doing anything. And then all of a sudden, they just seem to like blow it out of the water. So that's what I want to talk about. Growth and success is not linear and nothing in life is a straight line okay so some things though you know and i kind of had an insider ear of what was going on within her business the thing was is that she was doing some reflecting she was doing some rejuvenating she was doing some reanalyzing of stuff she was refocusing she was getting into her new purpose and passion because she'd been frustrated in network marketing in the past you know, she was working in business models that just didn't suit her. She was tied into comp plans that weren't paying well. You know, she wasn't having the success that she thought that she had deserved. Um, you know, and some things come out of alignment of what her, her, her interests were, her values and her beliefs were within her past company. So she come on knocking on my door asking about social retail. The thing is, is that with women in business and life and relationships and finances and anything, sometimes we are like just a trucking. We are just a go in and we are just a trucking and we are just working our hineys off. Our nose is like right to the grindstone. We're pouring out our heart. We're putting a lot of time and effort. And yet sometimes it just doesn't seem like we're moving forward. Does that make some sense? Does that make some sense? You guys, have you ever done that where you know you've been working your tail off and yet things just don't seem to be coming together in, in, as you had planned in our brain. So, you know, in everything in life, sometimes we have to actually go against the grain. Um, you know, instead of to like just getting up and charging ahead like a bull in a china shop and things are flying everywhere, um, really it's okay to go against the norm, to go against the tide, and instead of pushing so hard, it's actually a really smart thing once in a while a couple times a year, or for some women, even once a month, to pull back, retreat a little, and including everything in life, including business. I'm not saying quit, I'm just saying hole up, back off, uh, cocoon a little, uh, put some things into our bodies and our hearts and our minds, and why, okay, why? So if we're thinking about this, and I, I, I'm gonna get to some tips and solutions, but I want you guys to really understand, when we are pushing really hard, you know, whether it's our finances, whether it's our relationships, whether it's, you know, parenting our kids or, you know, just life or work or, or network marketing businesses. Um, if, if we're imagining that and you say are, 
you know, a general, you know, let's say you're a Napoleon and you're in the war and we're at war for our freedom. We're at war for what, you know, to do what we want to do when we want to do it, to have those time freedoms, to push away the keyboard and be there for your kids, or your husband or your, or your uh, parents. You're at the front of the lines and you're you're in battle mode and you're in go mode you're in do mode you're in the line of fire and everything in your skill and your passion is trying to keep you alive and thriving and excited uh to win today's battles in in today's seeking of freedom of whatever freedom um and the reasons of you know why that we do the crazy things that we do um within this beautiful industry and business okay but the thing is is it's really hard to strategize your next move in battle in life if you're napoleon at the front of the lines it's really hard to strategize and have a clear head with all the bombs going off and people flying everywhere and horses running across this way it's really hard to strategize your next move of what you want to do when you're in the front of the battle zone okay so what do smart generals do right we retreat Okay, retreating is not quitting, okay? The thing is, is that, you know, it's kind of like you're standing at that ocean and sometimes you're just gonna get battled down by those waves over and over and over again before you can get past that, that rush roar of the beach into the deeper waters where it's cooler and you're not gonna be over your head. But sometimes it's okay to retreat back to the beach and, you know, get some more things in that life stance of that, you know, cha-cha-cha, two steps forward, one step back. And that's just what smart business savvy business owners do, okay? Whether it's, you know, in communications with our children, to sometimes you, everyone's got to have a time out, especially mom, if I'm going to keep my sanity so I can come back into that conversation and communicate my very best to, to the kids that I love. So, you know, same thing with our relationships, same thing with uh, sometimes at work, sometimes we need to close that door and the open door policy just isn't going to happen right now, okay? It's okay to pull back, okay? It's okay to just pull yourself back from that daily noise of those daily activities so we can re-strategize, okay? So that is the very first tip, is forgiving yourself if you have to step back. So many women have a hard time understanding that it's okay to step back from life, from business, to put a pause on a conversation, if that's what it takes for our success. Does that make some sense, you guys? So the thing is, is like definitely giving yourselves that time to think, okay? Because, you know, when we get to kind of pull back, when we go back to the battle lines, we, you know, get in the tent and we get our other army, our generals and our corporals and our, you know, right down to the privates, get them in that room and figuring out, okay? But most of all, giving yourself that quiet time for mental reflection so you can reformat, so you can rejuvenate, you can do maybe do some leadership brainstorming. So then again, we can rise again and, you know, hit the battlefield and roar. So ask ourselves those kind of questions and I, and I wrote notes because really it's kind of like that arrow that bow and arrow story that they talk about you know you got to pull the bow back to be able to be able to launch forward you know and that's the biggest thing is remembering it's okay you know when when life seems to be pushing you back all the time it's okay then to kind of step back with life so then we can then launch ourselves forward um, rejuvenated, excited with a new game plan and a new strategy because it's really hard to think, like I said, at the front of the battlefield. And most women forget to give themselves that. And they also um, have a tendency, they will think about it for their teammates. You're going to think about it for your spouse or your kids, but we don't give it to ourselves sometimes. First of all, you know, we really have to remember that we can find our own answers often we have our own answers within our hearts when, you know, shit seems to be hitting the fan. Like when life becomes unruly and like that woman who come to me asking me about social retail a little while ago and now she's just blowing it up is because she had to forgive herself for a few things. The first thing is, is she had her own answers, but her mama didn't raise any quitter kind of like me. So she says, well, Roxanne, I've invested all this time with this other company. I've invested, you know, in courses. I've invested, you know, in relationships, um, but it's just not fitting me anymore. I love the industry, but, you know, I, she's beating herself up mentally because she spent all this time and all this energy 
in this other company. And so it was, it was hard. It was painful for her to come to realization that it's, but if she wants her success, she wasn't going to find it there. Okay. She just, it wasn't suiting her, her beliefs anymore. It didn't align with her values. Um, the company was going in different directions where she didn't want to build this business um, at that time that way anymore. And that's okay. Our lives change. It's okay to say, I don't want to be a party girl anymore. It's okay to say, I don't want to go to vendor events and markets anymore. I just want something from my phone uh, or my, my wellness has changed. So these products, you know, I'm more aligned with these kind of products lines, you know? So she had a lot of things that were just not jiving with her values and her beliefs, but she was beating herself up mentally because of her previous time invested, um, you know, of monies and time and investment. And, you know, she had to kind of remind herself that in just like a road trip, it's never too late to make a U-turn. It's never too late to make that U-turn to what she believed was going to be the sunnier side of life. So, you know, we had some honest conversations and I was not in convincing mode. You know, when women come to me asking me questions about social retail, it's not my job to convince you. It's just my job to give you the right information so you can come up with the right answers for yourself. So I am very, and you can ask any of the girls that are watching this and that are part of my team. Um, you know, my job is to be able to give you the right tools that you need for your success. Um, and if I'm not part of that tool and I'm not part of that solution, I, I'm going to point you in the direction where I, I know that someone else that is going to be able to help you. Okay. So the next tip would be to chat, to take, first of all, forgive yourself that it's okay to take a U-turn. It's okay to step back and re-strategize so we can come back into the game better, bigger, brighter, bolder, stronger, you know, kind of like that super woman kind of thing. Um, chat with a mentor. Um, you know, chat with your leadership, chat with a really best friend. Um, some other ideas is recognizing that it's okay to ask and it's okay to make that list of what is important to you and what do you really want? Like, what do you really want this beautiful industry and profession to give you? Like, what do you really want? And, you know, are you achieving that? Is it coming easily? Are you battling? Has it ever been on the horizon for you? You know, so and be okay with changing your game plan. I mean, I know last August I stopped doing the techie stuff. It's like I am not writing capture pages anymore. I'm not creating trip wires. I'm not doing funnels. I'm not doing um, email lists anymore. I want to get back to the high touch and um, the high vibe of, of sisterhood online, of having online pen pals face to face voice to voice, you know, keyboard to keyboard. I don't want the techie stuff anymore. I don't want that chat bot, you know, funnels stuff. That's just not me. And I had to try it though. Totally okay to try something. Totally okay for me to say, uh, nope, that's not working for me. I'm going to make a U-turn. Okay. So I had to forgive myself and I had to release that because I was spending thousands of dollars on some of these trainings and tools and courses. I had to forgive myself and release that so I could pick up the right pieces of this mess and then move forward and say, but this is what I want. And this is how I want my business to grow. I want um, highly consumable products that are fully 100% online. I want to be able to leverage my upline. I want to be able to help my, my new girls get started realizing they don't have to know it all. You know, you don't have to know it all. You don't have to be it all. You, we can simply use that um, ATM strategy to help women set themselves up for success. You know, knowing that we've got a huge scope of products, something for everybody, you know, whether you're 50 um, or five, there's something out there for everybody. And I love that. Okay. So I just wanted to remember you guys just to really think about what is really holding you back and taking that time to reflect that life is a cha-cha, you know, nothing is linear. Their success is not linear. Like I have to ask you guys those kind of like stronger questions. How's it going for you? You know, to take a step back, do some reflection, some rejuvenating, some reformatting. So those are some of the ideas um, that were kind of popping into my mind. So you guys all have a fabulous night and I will see you guys all tomorrow on the sunny side of life.